Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna go through quickly on the uh, rental of uh, EOS R. My rental just arrived yesterday of this camera, and I used the 35 mm f1.4 lens. So I'm just go through quickly, and the image uh, quality I just choose the default L. I turn off the this one, the image uh, review. And next one, I didn't change this one. And iOS uh, setting, speed setting, I just set the similar to my Fujifilm camera. So the range is 100 to uh, 40,000. Auto range is this uh, one. And let me go back. Minimum shutter speed 101, 125 seconds, the same that I have in the um, Fujifilm. So let me go back. Uh, I didn't have this one changed and time metering. Let me go to quickly white balance. So this one I will change on the fly tomorrow uh, based on the location. So by default, I set it to auto white balance. I can have a comparison both auto white balance uh, since um, against the Sony auto white balance or change both uh, forest and also so I will have the comparison of the color science uh, many of you just in, are interested to see what's going on and then against the Fujifilm also so three mirrorless camera um, side by side so next one noise reduction of high IS I didn't change this touch shutter I disable all the touch um, shutter so i didn't change any of these silent shutter i didn't have that af i have the one shot af for now uh, i might try the servo also autofocus uh, i might use the face tracking just to comparison do a comparison between the face tracking of all those three cameras canon fujifilm sony face tracking let's see how it goes and frame size, I chose the small one because I like the small dot to get more accurate. Continuous focus is off right now. And touch drag AF, I turn it off. Um, I turn it off for now um, because I'm not used to touch uh, AF. Um, all these, uh, I didn't change any of these. And that's uh, the AF. Let me go through quickly these three options. I didn't change any of these either. So I didn't change any. Uh, let me see quickly in the setting. So setting, I'm, I'm just skipping through quickly. So not much uh, was changed. And then there's a custom um, setting of the C one c3 i didn't i didn't have time to add this one so let me go back this one so go back to the menu exposure increment one uh one third bracketing so i didn't change this either and so i might have more to it later on but um for now i'm just using this camera setting and um one thing I noticed yesterday, I just did a couple quick shots. Uh, the shutter, there's no shutter lag at all. So the, I will show the behind the camera uh, tomorrow, um, just to compare. Cause um, it feels like I can hear the shutter sound, but uh, on the screen, it just like, just like video. It, it just not like, there's no flicker at all. So I'm, um, a little bit not used to it because uh, it, uh, I used to some shutter lag a little bit, but um, this one doesn't even have any lag, it seems like. So I will have the video tomorrow, uh, shooting while shooting, I shoot some behind the camera shots, uh, live footage, just to show you what I was talking about. So thank you so much for this, uh, watching this quick video. Uh, stay tuned for more video and comparison coming up. Thanks. Bye